Kentucky Fried Chicken, or KFC for short, is famous around the world for its delicious fried chicken. KFC was the idea of Harlan Sanders, who cooked traditional southern cuisine at a roadside gas station before it became the world's second largest fast food business. Even after his death in 1980, Sanders remains the company's human mascot. His life story and his path to fast food stardom includes far more than chicken. Harlan Sanders and his many jobs Harlan Sanders was born in Henryville, Indiana in 1890. His father died when he was only five years old, forcing his mother to work. While his mother was at work, Harlan looked after his two siblings and made meals for them. His mother remarried when he was 12 years old. However, his stepfather was opposed to having stepchildren, so after a year, he moved out. He began working on a farm. He fed the animals in the morning, went to school, and did odd chores in the evening every day. He dropped out of school in the 7th grade because mathematics was too tough for him. In the years that followed, he tried his hand at a variety of jobs, including working as a streetcar conductor, an insurance salesperson, a railroad fireman, a riverboat operator, a tire salesman, and even a lawyer. Sanders studied law by correspondence and practiced in Arkansas Justice of the Peace Courts until a courtroom battle with a client destroyed his legal career. Sanders even delivered babies, he said. There was nobody else to do it. The husbands couldn't afford a doctor when their wives were pregnant. Besides being a binwife, he also attempted other occupations but was not successful in any of them. KFC's Humble Origins Harlan Sanders had his first breakthrough in 1930. Sanders started working as a gas station attendant in Corbin, Kentucky. He prepared and served food to his clients to supplement his income. Surprisingly, fried chicken was initially missing from the menu because it took too long to cook. His country ham and steak dinners were so popular that he quickly built Sanders Cafe across the street and began serving chicken fried in an iron skillet. However, in 1931, bad luck struck again when a rival gas station owner, Matt Stewart, started painting over Sanders' gas station signs. The bickering came to an end after Stewart shot and fatally wounded a colleague of Sanders. The future colonel picked up the deceased man's pistol and returned fire. Sanders finally hit Stewart's shoulder with a shot. Both men were arrested and Stewart was sentenced to 18 years in prison for murder. Fortunately for Sanders and fried chicken lovers around the world, charges against him were dropped because he fired in self-defense. Nevertheless, People from all around came to try his cuisine as news spread about his cooking. He finally removed the petrol pumps and transformed the gas station into a full-fledged restaurant. In 1936, the governor of Kentucky bestowed on Sanders the honorary rank of Kentucky Colonel. Sanders sought to look like the honorary title by growing fascia hair and sporting a black froth coat and string tie. Soon after, the colonel changed into a white suit to hide his flower stains. He bleached his mustache and goatee to match his white hair. By 1937, he had extended the business to include a hotel and a cafe, Sanders Courts and Cafe, with seating for around 142 people. It took around 30 minutes to make fried chicken, which was a huge issue for Sanders because fried chicken was his best-selling menu item. To solve this issue, he utilized a pressure cooker instead of deep-frying the chicken, reducing the cooking time to 8 to 9 minutes. This allowed him to sell more fried chicken. He kept experimenting with his chicken recipe. He ultimately refined the fried chicken recipe in 1938. The formula comprised 11 herbs and spices that are still kept secret by KFC. The colonel said, I threw two handfuls of it into the flour and stirred it up with the rest of my seasonings. When I fried it up, it was the best chicken I've ever tasted in my life. And I've never changed my ingredients from that time to this. Another setback leading to bigger things. A fire destroyed the Corbin restaurant in 1939. When the restaurant was reconstructed, the timing couldn't have been worse. World War II had broken out with drastically reduced customer demand. His business struggled on and faced another setback in 1955. An interstate bypass was created on the roadway, reducing the amount of people that used it. Sanders was eventually forced to sell his Corbin property. He was 66 years old and had to make do with a $150 monthly Social Security payment but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Sanders had another idea. Franchise his Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe. He had previously created the groundwork when he successfully licensed his formula to Pete Harmon in 1952. The moniker, Kentucky Fried Chicken, was invented by Don Anderson, a sign painter employed by Harmon. 
Sanders loaded up his car with pressure cookers and a combination of 11 herbs and spices and set out across America. He traveled across the country, stopping at eateries along the route. He signed franchise agreements with restaurant owners after they sampled his finger-licking good fried chicken, which normally included a four-cent commission on every piece of chicken sold. He sold his first franchise deal with a restaurant in Utah. By 1963, there were 600 Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants across the United States, but the company was too large for Sanders to handle at his age. KFC sold in 1964. Many wanted to acquire KFC from Sanders, but in 1964, he sold the company to a group of investors led by John Y. Brown and Jack C. Massey for $2 million. He sold it on the terms that quality would always be maintained. He would also earn a lifetime income would always be the company's face. The colonel said, A lot of people ask me why I sold my business after pouring everything I had into building it up. The popularity of my idea was beginning to run right smack over me. My business was beginning to get too big for me, no matter how much energy and time I put into it. By 1970, the number of outlets had risen to 3,048 countries. Brown sold KFC to Hublin, a food packaging and beverages firm, for $285 million in 1971. Unfortunately, the colonel wasn't happy with the new owner. He began to derail the chain's gravy as slop and its owners as a bunch of booze hounds. He made plans to franchise a Colonel's Ladies' Dinner House, a restaurant he launched with his wife in Shelbyville, Kentucky, 1968, as a rival. Hublin tried to stop him, and Sanders filed a $122 million lawsuit. The two sides reached an out-of-court settlement. The renamed Claudia Sanders' Dinner's House was permitted to remain open and is currently in business. The passing of the Colonel and a new owner. Harlan Sanders passed away in 1980. Although the colonel looked to be the ideal of a southern gentleman, his vocabulary was notoriously dirty, especially when he was dissatisfied with the franchisee's quality of food. He was famous among KFC people for the force and variety of his swearing. He confessed, I did my cussing before women or anybody else, but somehow nobody ever took any offense. At the time of his death, there were 6,000 KFC locations in 48 different countries. R.J. Reynolds, a cigarette company, bought Hublin in 1982 and sold KFC to PepsiCo for $850 million in 1986. In 1991, the KFC name was officially adopted, most likely to remove fried from its name. PepsiCo spot out its restaurant business, which included KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut, as Tricon Global Restaurant, Inc., in 1997. In 1999, KFC was the U.S.'s chicken fast food king with a 40% market share. In May 2002, KFC's parent corporation changed its name to Yum Brands. KFC has been widely successful in mainland China. In 2013, KFC was the most powerful foreign brand in China. To appeal to a wider audience in international markets, KFC has tailored its cuisine to the country in which it operates, such as vegetarian menu items in India. Unfortunately, while it has seen spectacular growth in overseas markets, KFC has been lagging behind in the U.S. By the end of 2013, it lost its top position to Chick-fil-A. That story is probably another video. Nevertheless, KFC is still a successful company with 22,600 locations in 135 countries with revenues of $27.9 billion as of July 2020. KFC brand value is the world's 96. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our video, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more videos like this one. And before we sign off, here's another interesting business video you might like.